Also tonight, as we've reported, the state recently purchased nine miles of abandoned rail to create biking and pedestrian greenway from Montclair all the way to Jersey City. One man has already been out walking the entire stretch and documenting it before it undergoes those big changes. News Tell's Brian Donahue met up with him at a spot that really overlooks it all. Here we are. Woo! I'm on top of Snake Hill, the 200 million year old flag topped crag of volcanic rock that thousands of drivers pass on the New Jersey Turnpike every day. The view is spectacular and I'm blown away as I check another item off my Jersey bucket list. But the guy I'm with seems more than a little wistful. You're never going to see these tracks the way they were ever again. His name is Wheeler and Tabanaz, a writer and photographer who just published a new book about the abandoned rail line that stretches out before us in both directions, the old Booten line, which under a new state plan will be turned into a hiker and cyclist's dream. Nine miles of trails from Jersey City to Montclair, straight through the storied Meadowlands. The trail could open these landscapes up to thousands. But Wheeler, a well-known urban explorer who writes for Weird New Jersey magazine, has been pretty happy to have it mostly to himself. It's already a greenway. The, I, when, when the tracks were abandoned and they didn't use them for trains anymore, all this lush vegetation grew up. There was animals taking sanctuary all along the line. I saw it. In 2021, he walked the entire nine miles, documenting it all in a book, Walking the Old Booten Line, and a film which you can watch on YouTube. Both the book and the view from up here show both how spectacular the Greenway could be and also how tricky it will be for planners and engineers to build. The trail will have to somehow cross the Hackensack River here and the old train route along this 130-year-old swing bridge that's been open since it was decommissioned in 2002 is probably not an option. Maybe you could be the, the ferryman. <laughs> they come, they, they throw it all fully in your cup and you ferry them across. You know, I'd be like, bicycle. I'm Sharon, welcome. <laughs> Come across the river stinks. If engineers eventually figure that out, Wheeler's book does show what an amazing trip it will be. Even if, once it's open, the man who loves it most probably won't ever want to walk it again. I've been walking out here for so long, it hurts to see it change because I love it, you know? And, and I had it to myself the whole time, basically. Now I'm going to have to share it with all the tourists, and I'll be finding a new pathway where there's no people, <laughs> you know? I'm Brian Donahue with Wheeler and Tavanez. This is Positively New Jersey. That is the first time we've ever had a camera up on Snake Hill, I can guarantee <laughs> you. The state plans to use $20 million in federal funds to begin the structural work for building that greenway.